Hi guys! Welcome back to my channel. It has been long time no talk. <laughs> it's been like literally a month since I've last uploaded. This was a very, very unintentional break that I took. I actually started to film this video like at the same time as when I started to film my previous video I posted. This video just literally took me a month to film and to make. I don't even know. <laughs> Shortly after this video uh, started being filmed, I just got a million things piled on top of me and like there was just so much happening in my life so it just took me a lot longer to get this done because I had so many other things to do but I'm starting to kind of get a handle on my life again and I'm starting to kind of manage my time a lot better so I'm hoping that everything's kind of under control now. A big reason as to why this video took me so long was because there have been some developments in my room. <laughs> the first thing being I actually got a PC. There's a clip later on in this video where I talk to you guys about this because this video is so old. Um, <laughs> but I did get a PC in my room so I do have a huge monitor and stuff on my desk now. And my old desk, I'm not sure if you guys saw it and it's full, but it could not fit a monitor and I would film on my desk and it was very very hard to film on my desk and have the computer on there at the same time there was not a lot of space you can see here this is my old desk I took everything off of it and everything um, this was right before we moved it out of my room there was just not enough space on this desk to have room for all the things I wanted to do on it so I was like you know what I need a new one so Here's my new desk that I did get. You can see it's this big L-shaped corner desk. It is amazing. I love it so much and I'm very happy with it. But now I have a lot more space to actually do the things I want to do. So you can see here, this is my final setup. So you can see my computer is on one side and then I have one other side designated for filming and all this other stuff. So I actually have space now to film videos and it's actually comfortable and it's it's really nice. Another thing that I have been spending a lot of my time on recently um, is actually preparation for my Etsy shop that <laughs> is going to be coming pretty soon. If you guys have been following me for a while, you know that literally I have been wanting to sell my bracelets literally for three years. I have been wanting to sell my bracelets for so long, but you have to be 18 to like literally do anything. But I do turn 18 at the end of August in about two weeks and I'm so excited. I don't know exactly the date that I'm going to be opening the Etsy shop. Um, I obviously have to make you know product and stuff for it so I'm working on it right now though it's just of course a slow process because you know how long it takes to make a bracelet because you probably made one before so you know that it definitely is taking some time to make all the bracelets for it but with that being said let me know any suggestions or requests or ideas of whatever you guys want me to be selling if there's a specific type of pattern you want or if you prefer bracelets or anklets or if you like charms on your bracelets or Whatever, just give me any suggestions you have for what you would purchase from me if I were to sell. But with all of that being said, I think you guys are updated now. Um, today I'm going to be doing episode 3 of making patterns off my followers to-do lists. There's a website called Bracelet Book, which is the main website I use for all my bracelet patterns. It's also a great community. I am a moderator on Bracelet Book, which is really, really cool. However, on Bracelet Book, you can save patterns to your to-do lists and you can save them for later. So I basically am just going to go through my friends list today and raid your guys' to-do lists and make patterns that you guys have saved so yeah I'm not gonna be doing any in-depth tutorials on how to make these specific patterns the video would just take way too long I don't have time for that um, however if you would like to make these patterns still you are obviously more than welcome to they will all be linked in the description box down below if you want to check them out yourself and if you don't know how to read patterns I do have a video on how to read alpha patterns and there are also dozens of other videos on YouTube on how to read alpha patterns if you do not like my video and yet without further ado let's just go ahead and get right on into this video i love you guys also guys i have um like a a, a monitor in my room now i film in this little section right here my phone just goes right here and i just film on this little area i used to film here obviously but now my monitor is here so we just have to film in this little area i'm getting a new desk um which will probably be here i'm hoping in like three weeks so i thought i would just share because it's really exciting and it's fun so yeah 
Yeah. Alrighty guys, we are on bracelet book. Um, here is my bracelet book username if you guys want to be my friend. I get a lot of people asking me like what my account is. It's always linked in the description of my videos, but you could also just type in that um, on bracelet book underscore Kinsey B. Also, I am... I'm not sure when this video is going to go out, but I am the newest moderator on Bracelet Book now, which is actually insane. But anyways, let's go to my friends list and I'm going to go ahead and scroll down and pick someone. I have literally 54 pages of friends. I want to pick someone that's new. Ooh, let's look at you, Bubbles901. Oh my god, I saw this on Instagram. I remember this. The little rag rug, so cute. Oh my gosh, you have 118 to-dos. That's actually perfect. So let's go ahead and look at all of these. Oh my gosh, this one's actually on my to-do list, this dinosaur one. It's so cute. <gasps> Wait, I freaking love this bubble one. That one's sick. I kind of want to do that one. Oh my gosh, this one's really pretty. I like that one a lot. Okay, so I liked this one. I like it a lot. It's really pretty. I love how it looks, but also that bubble one was really sick. Like, what? This is so cool. I want to make this one so bad. I think we're going to actually do this bubble one. This one's actually really sick. I think it's so cool. I've never seen anything like this one before. We're doing that one. That one was really quick and easy to find. So that's cool. All right. Let's find somebody else. Oh my gosh. Look at the doggy. Oh. Um, all right. You got 44 to-dos. Let's see what you got here. I love that butterfly one. And this Minecraft flower one is literally so cute. That one's already on my to-do list. Wow, the potato. This one, this heart one is so cute too. Oh, that elephant one is so pretty. I love the lemons too. Oh my god, you have some good to-dos on here. I want to make this watermelon one so bad. And this one is so pretty. Wow, okay, actually go off. It's fine. What is this from? Robin and Steve? Oh, is it? Oh, Stranger Things. Oops, I don't watch that. I don't know. Ow. I love the flower one. That one's really pretty. I honestly think I kind of want to just make this really cute flower one, to be honest. This one's so cute. Okay, so we got the bubbles. We got the flowers. Now let's do another one. I kind of want to just do three. Um, I was really only going to do three the first time I did this. And then I ended up just being like, bro, like I need to do more. Um, and then like last time that happened too. So I think I'm going to just do three this time. I'm going to go deeper into my friends list. Let's go to like 14. Oh my god, the, the Roblox character. It's not funny. It's not funny at all. Oh my god, you're so pretty. Oh, you're from U Ukraine? Are you joking? Oh my god, 124 to do's. Okay, you better have something good or I'm gonna be like really mad. <laughs> that cloud bracelet is still really cute. I think I'm gonna have to do that one, to be honest. She's a bad thing. You should find it as hell. Ooh, bro, I made all three of these. All four of these. All, whoa, I made all of these right here. <laughs> what? This little shark one is literally so cute. This one's cute too. Oh my god, the avocado toast. Stop. Literally stop. That is so cute. Wow. <gasps> I just watched that movie last night and oh my god, I wanted to cry. Literally the best movie ever. Okay, I I want to make the, the Rapunzel one so bad. I feel like I have to make it. It's so cute. Look at it! I just like need, I need it in my life. Look at how pretty they are. See, that's cute. I should make that. But like, where would I put it? Like, in my car? No. No. Maybe not. I honestly think I have to do this Tangled one because I just love the movie so much. So I think those are our three patterns we're going to do. They're all alphas today. Okay, so we're doing 43302 on bracelet book, which is this um, bubble one. Then we're doing 4357, which is the daisy one. And then we're doing 36226, which is the Rapunzel one. So cute. All right, let's get cracking on these. All right, guys, I have my patterns. I've actually gotten a couple of questions about like how I print my patterns out so small. Picolage, baby girl, is what we use. Um, I just screenshot the patterns on my phone from bracelet book, 
and then I just um, put them all in a little collage on bracelet book and I kind of like crop them so it's like just the pattern. So the first bracelet we're going to make is going to be the bubble one. I'm actually going to make this a keychain because I think that it'll be too thick as a bracelet. So I'm going to need a lot of colors for this. So I'm definitely going to stick with pretty much the same color palette of the pattern because I just really like how it looks. So um, I'm definitely going to need a lot of black, which thankfully I do have. I got some questions about where I get all my big packs of thread, and these are from Michaels. Loops and Threads is the brand of this thread, um, and it's just the stuff from Michaels. I'm going to try to pick out all the other little colors in this bracelet. So I have my iPhone. Just kidding. It's all of my scrap thread. So I'm going to go through this and just pick out the colors that I need for the bubbles. So I see some white in there. There's some yellow. There's some orange. I see some teal. There's some light purple. There's some pink. All right, and then there's some green. There's like every color of the rainbow basically in there. That is going to be that. Let's go ahead and make this one. Alrighty, so I finished the bubble keychain. I think it looks really good. Here it is. I actually miscounted my strings, so I had to add two more strings in the middle right there. I'm a mess, but I still think that it looks really good. So now I'm going to move on to the second pattern, which is this daisy one. And I do already like the color, so I think I'm going to keep it pretty similar. I'm going to use this pink for my background. This is the DMC Petra thread in size 5. And I'm going to use this pale yellow for the center of the flower. And then just white for the petals. I was thinking about doing like sunflowers instead. But I feel like these flowers don't really look like sunflowers, so maybe I should just keep the daisy thing going. I think we're going to just do that. So, so I'm going to go ahead and get started on this one. Alright guys, so I finished this daisy pattern and this is how it turned out. I think it looks so cute. Um, I'm thinking about making a bunch of these with different colors and selling these on my Etsy. So if you guys would like that, then let me know. But I think this design is really cute and it's pretty simple to make as well. So, yes. And then last design, we're making this Rapunzel one. This is number 36226 on bracelet book and it is the Rapunzel, like, or the Tangled Little Sun logo thing you you know you know what it is it's okay. so the design it's kind of hard to see but it is a, like a royal blue but i'm pretty sure in the movie it was purple so i'm gonna do the background as purple this like deep royal purple color and then for the sun i'm obviously gonna do yellow i'm using this like golden yellow and i decided that i actually wanted to do this as a tapestry because it is 27 string so it's pretty big um, so I actually went out and I purchased some wooden dowels because I didn't have any. So I got two different sizes. I had these thinner ones and then these thicker ones. I wasn't quite sure what size to get. I don't really know. But these are both from Michaels and they were like three bucks each. I feel like this one is too big. I think I'm going to go with these smaller ones. So I have my wooden dowel. So I need to cut it and I, I found these in my dad's workbench. So I, I think I can cut it. With this but I think I'm gonna go ahead and attach all my base strings to this first because I don't know exactly how long I need this to be and then once I've attached my base strings then I can go ahead and cut it okay guys so I attached all of my base strings to my wooden dowel I'm gonna go ahead and cut it so I'm going to kind of like separate my strings a little bit. I think this is a good enough space on both sides. I'm not sure if this is going to work. Ah! Cool. 
cool. That worked. Ew, it looks ugly though. I might have to actually sand that with some sandpaper. There's my little tapestry. It's so cute. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started on knotting this whole thing. Alright guys, so I finished the tapestry and here is what it looks like. I didn't actually get to sand this. Um, I wonder if a nail file will work. Oh, it kind of does. Wow. I am so handy. Do you guys see this? Okay, well that's sanded. Nice. So this is the finished tapestry. I love it. So I just tied this little string on top so I could hang it. I'm not quite sure where I'm going to be putting it, but I still think it's so cute and I just love I love I love Tangled. It's like my favorite Disney movie ever. So I love how this turned out. So those are all the bracelets that I made in this making patterns off my followers to do list video. I hope you guys enjoyed this and let me know what pattern was your favorite down below. Alrighty guys, so that was this video. I hope you guys all liked this. This series is honestly so fun and I just really enjoy doing it because I actually am able to make more bracelets for myself. I think I want to do a moderate with me video. If you guys want to see that, you guys can let me know. I've already gotten a couple requests to do that video, but I would be more than happy to make that video for you guys. But anyways, thank you all so much for watching. I love you guys and I will see you in my next video. Bye.